So who actually invented stealth? Depending on who you ask, you'll get a number of different answers. Some people say Lockheed's Ben Rich is the father of stealth. He was the director of Lockheed's legendary Skunk Works division while they were developing the F-117 Nighthawk. He was also the star pupil of the Skunk Works division founder, legendary aeronautical engineer, Kelly Johnson. But if you had asked Rich, he would have told you it wasn't his idea. He was more inclined to credit Dennis Overholzer, one of the engineers on his staff, but even that is a dramatic oversimplification of the story, as both Rich and Overholzer would tell you. The truth is, by the time these guys were working on stealth, the concept had already been around for some time. More than a decade prior, in 1957, Convair had submitted their proposal for the Kingfish, a very stealthy and triangular aircraft meant to compete with Lockheed's own SR-71 Blackbird, which itself, of course, took great pains to reduce its radar return. By 1962, Boeing's Quiet Bird was being quietly shaped and reshaped in front of an active radar array in an attempt to field a stealth aircraft for the U.S. Army. But more often than not, you'll hear people credit a Soviet mathematician and physicist named Pyotr Ufimsev with the real breakthrough that brought stealth to be. And while that's not exactly true, Ufimsev does deserve a great deal of credit. In 1962, Ufimsev published his book, Method of Edge Waves in Physical Theory of Diffraction in the Soviet Union, and it went largely ignored by his own nation. But by the early 1970s, the U.S. Air Force's Foreign Technologies Division had gotten their hands on it. They published a translation of that paper in 1971 that very quickly found its way into the hands of Dennis Overholzer. Now, Ufimsev's work was not specifically oriented toward making an aircraft stealth, but it did discuss at length how electromagnetic energy might reflect off of flat surfaces. Overholzer described Ufimsev's work as so obtuse and impenetrable that only a nerd's nerd would have waded through it but he knew there was gold to be found in there. Before long, he enlisted the help of mathematician Bill Schroeder, and the two of them combined Ufimsev's work with more than century-old equations created by 19th-century Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell, as well as other equations devised by German engineer Arnold Johannes Summerfield. Before long, they had created a computer program, the first ever used to design an aircraft that could accurately calculate the way in which radar waves would deflect off of the angular surface of an aircraft. In short, this gave them the ability to design an aircraft and test its stealth in a computer before actually building it and sticking it in front of a radar array, as all previous efforts had required. Now, this work eventually produced a shape they dubbed the Hopeless Diamond, because there was no way it was ever going to fly. But the Hopeless Diamond led to the Half Blue Technology Demonstrator, which itself led to the F-117 Nighthawk, and the rest is history. Ultimately, who you choose to credit for the origination of stealth can really vary depending on your perspective. If you ask me, there is no single father, or mother for that matter, for stealth as a technological concept, or even as a technology and practical application. Instead, this is a concept with a long list of highly credentialed and very qualified uncles, if you will. And while this is a question that could potentially have a variety of answers that are arguably right, the only answer I can tell you 100% isn't is Germany's Horton Brothers. But you guys already know that.